Hello there, you're watching Lockpicking Legend. And this week we're looking at the UAP Zero Lift Cylinder. Anti-drill, anti-bump, sacrificial cut, anti-pick. Oh, and what a can of worms I've opened hitherto. Legendary. So to understand the zero lift pin, first we're going to have a look at bumping. And I, I suggest you have a look at the bumping video on this channel because there's a couple of techniques in there you might not have seen before, including using dampeners, which I actually invented. That's right, there's videos of me, like this one, on YouTube from 15 years ago. You will not find any dampener videos earlier than that. However, the actual technique of bumping goes back nearly 100 years. This is a patent from 1928 for a bumping type device. But rather than try and understand all that malarkey, let's have a look what the writing says. In accordance with one embodiment of the present invention, a key bumping or lock bumping pin tumbler lock is provided. In one embodiment of the present invention, resistance to opening by key bumping is achieved by decreasing a weight ratio between top pin and combination pin. In one embodiment of the present invention, this is achieved by lowering the weight of the top pin. In another embodiment of the present invention, this is achieved by increasing, increasing the weight of the combination pin. In another embodiment of the present invention, resistance is achieved by decreasing the length of the top pin. In another embodiment of the present invention, resistance is achieved by increasing the length of the top pin. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now in fairness I have confused things a little bit because that bit of writing was actually about inventions to prevent bumping and here's some images that kind of describe um, that bit of writing and I can't make head nor tail of them anyway but this brings us back to the zero lift pin now, the idea of the zero lift pin is that the split in the pin stack is already on the shear line. In this, dis in this diagram, it's going to be pin 5, I'm guessing. So if you try and use a bump key on it, as soon as you strike the bump key, you're going to overset the zero lift pin. So a bump key will not work on this lock. Or will it? More on that later, but you get the idea. Because the split is already on the shear line, when you strike it, you're going to overset it. I mean, this is a ridiculous graphic anyway, because it looks like you could probably pop a cone pick in this lock. <laughs> Bumping doesn't work like that. Bumping works like this. This is known as Newton's Cradle, also known as Newton's Rocker, and weirdly also known as Newton's Balls. <laughs> but this is how bumping works. This is the conservation of momentum, which is mass times velocity, and kinetic energy, which is half times mass times velocity squared. Essentially, the key pin doesn't move. Well, barely. The, the, the kinetic energy from the bump key hits the key pin, the kinetic energy is transferred and the momentum goes into the driver pin which lifts. Which makes this zero pin, uh, this zero lift pin graphic simply ridiculous. Anyway, let's get back to it. Legendary. Okay, so here we go. We've actually got the UAP zero lift uh, lock in the vise, and I've got a bogey here. And I, you know, why wouldn't you rake it? Always, I always rake before I SPP. Why wouldn't you? And remember that it said this was anti pick, and remember it said it was anti bump. I know I did tangent to bumping, but. Just, there's just a little aside there. So now we work in here. We're getting counter rotation. That's quite severe counter rotation. Let a little bit off the tension tool. 
No dramas. On to the next one. Same again. This is full of security pins. I'm just having to... There you go. Lovely. Now, let's have a look inside this bad boy, shall we? I'll get my mat out. I'll get me shim out. And I'll get me plug followers out. And I'll speed this up so you don't have to get as bored as I did doing it. <laughs> no. I'll know you in a minute, you legendary nun. Now, there you go. Take that up. I've got the right plug follower in the end. Take my shim out. Now, the zero lift pin is in the sixth position, which is ridiculous because it makes it essentially a five pin lock. So if you're single pin picking it, you've only got to pick the first five because the zero lift, the, the split in the pin stack is already on the shear line. And if you think it's bump proof, no. Just use a bump key that doesn't reach the sixth pin. Look at that. What's that? A T pin, a mushroom pin. So you can bump this. You just don't bump the sixth pin. Now I'm confusing it because I'm putting it on the pinning mat. Oh, there we go. Like a T pin there. But yeah, you can bump and pick this. Bump proof, pick proof, zero lift. There's another T pin. What a we I mean, I get it. You couldn't bump it if it was, say, in the third position. But in the sixth pin, that's nuts. And, and again, if you're single pin picking, it's a five pin lock if you put it in the sixth position. <laughs> the, the amount of money and effort that goes into these things, it's only so that they can show you their stupid graphics. They can say things like zero lift. And it adds absolutely no added security. Bizarre. There's a little bit more I want to show you. Um, because I didn't have the key for that other one where the zero lift was in the sixth position, I've got this other UAP zero lift where... As you can see, it's, it's, it's the deepest cut on the key. That'll be the zero lift. So in this one, it's pin one. And I've put these the pins into this cutaway lock. And as you see, I'll pop the key in there. I mean, th th these pins aren't the right size for this cutaway, so I won't be picking it. But I just want to demonstrate something to you. I'll just bring it a bit closer. I hope we don't lose too much light. There you go. Is that all right? Because I do. Act, when I said it, it offers no added security, it doesn't when it's in the sixth position. But there is actually something as lock pickers you might want to know about when picking a lock that's got a zero lift um, <laughs> uh, pin in it. I think we're going to have to do it about there. I can bring it. I can bring the lock forward again in a minute. But here's the issue. So this is in a, a, a in a in in the zero lift is in position one. Can you see that? Purely professional here. Now, so I've got this normal kind of hook, and I go in. But as you see, when I try and reach the other pins, look what it's doing to the zero lift in position one. I can't even. I can't get to. Five, six, five, four, barely three, without oversetting the zero lifting one. So that is actually look. You can see that is there. That's overset now. So there is actually something to learn here. There is actually a security advantage to this lock when it comes to picking, but it ain't much. <laughs> All it is is get a deeper hook <laughs> and then as you'll see you can 
reach those other pins without affecting the zero lifting one. Do you understand? Because if you if you even barely scrape that zero lift, you're going to overset it and you're not going to be able to pick it. But you just need to change your hook for something with a little bit more reach on it. I just thought that was worth mentioning. Legendary. No. Now, since I've been extracting the Michael and taking the rise out of other people, I only think it's fair that I have a laugh at myself. This is the other half of the lock that um, I took the pins out of for the cutaway. Um, there you go. You can see the uh, plug or core, whatever you want to call it, there. But I thought, well, since I've got the bit that goes inside the house, on the in interior of the door, I might as well have a little pick of this. You know, why not? I'm a lock picker. So uh, I've got, um, well, I'll give it a little go. Lovely. Got my wrench. No need to vice it up. Grab hold of a pick. There you go. We know about having the extra reach. Um, I don't need to worry about pick uh, the first pin because that's me uh, zero lift. So I'm just working on pin two. Just a little bit. A? Eh? A? Eh? What, I picked one pin? Let's just try that again. So ignore pin one, it's zero lift. Get on that second pin and what the hell's going on here? <laughs> this is not legendary. Unless I've become magic. Or did I not see that there's only two pins in it? <laughs> two. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know. Well, say anything you want in the comments. Just help us out. I'm trying to make a channel in a saturated market and it ain't easy, people. I'm like a panhandler in the lockpicking world. Take care, everyone, and ta-da! Yeah, you're not laughing now, are you? It's me, known as bumping issues. To trick the mechanism inside the barrel of the lock into responding as though the correct key is being inserted.